Hello everyone, uh, this is Aprajita from Fatina Support and uh, in the span of next uh, 20 to 30 minutes I'll be telling you about how to configure uh, courses, batches and subjects for those batches uh, using Fatina. So uh, first thing is you need to log in as an admin um, to be able to do these settings and I've already logged in uh, in my dashboard so this is my dashboard and to go to uh, managing a course uh, we need to click on here and uh, we need to go to administration and uh, settings and now you'll see some uh, links here uh, to manage uh, courses and batches we need to click on this link here and uh, first we need to manage courses before creating batches so first we need to create the courses so I'm going to click on this link and let's understand the before uh, creating uh, courses as to how uh, you know how the structure of course can be for your institution so I'm just giving some examples here which might help you to decide how to create course and batch in Fadina so uh, if you are a school um, you know generally the course would be grade 1 or uh, grade 2 and so on uh, another uh, way of naming it would be class 1 class 2 and so on or you know even another name uh, which we can use is standard 1 standard 2 and so on so uh, you'll see these are the courses which uh, you know your school can have and what will be the batches in these courses so let's say we have grade 1 as the course so inside grade 1 I'll have a batch called a 2014 so 2014 means started in 2014 like that I can also have B 2014 C uh, 2014 and so on so these are the batches that I'll have in course grade 1 similarly uh, you know I can, if the nomenclature is class 1 so again the batches would be same A 2014 B 2014 and so on so uh, you'll see that batches are actually going to have students and batches are you know what will be the part of the course in the sense that A 2014 will be for grade 1, B 2014 will be for grade 1 and so on. Now in case you are a university, in that case the courses may look like uh, this. So B Tech CSC is a course. BTEC uh, EC is another course and so on uh, you know, uh, in, and also you might have uh, batches like this so if BTEC CSC is a course the batch inside it would be something like semester 1 2014 semester uh, 2 2014 and so on so and uh, another scenario maybe in case you are a B school in that case we'll have MBA in HR, uh, MBA in finance and so on as the course names and uh, the batch names would be for MBA let's say MBA in HR the batch name would be semester one if it is semester wise you can name it as according to your semester wise semester one 2015 and so on so this is the general structure that can be followed uh, by schools, university and B schools uh, and this is how you know the courses and batches should be named uh, in Fidina. And of course it will be, it will depend on the type of your institution, on uh, the course structure of your institution. But this is just a general uh, insight of how your courses and batches might look like. So I've already created some courses and batches in my Fadina. That is why it is showing here. Uh, these are listed here, grade 1, grade 2. For you, for the first time, it will be empty here. So for, you need to uh, click on this new button. And I'm going to create a new course. So uh, let's say grade 6. I'm creating grade 6. Section name uh, is generally, uh, you know, we are not going to use it in case we have grades or classes or standards. It will be helpful when we uh, create for universities. So right now I'm sk skipping the section name. Code is, you know, it's the short form of this uh, course name. So everywhere uh, I'll, I'll see grade 6, G6. So uh, this, this denotes grade 6 actually. 
the grading system will come as per what you selected in general settings in Sedina. So it, it means if I'm selecting, let's say, CC, so CC will be applicable for all the batches that are going to follow this grade 6. I'm changing it back to normal for now. Enable elective selection would mean that the students who will be reading this grade 6 will be able to select their subjects. We'll see uh, what this means in detail when we go to manage subject. And of course, it's a course. Uh, there must be a batch because batch is actually going to have students. So I'm going to create a batch called A 2014 denoting that it is starting in this academic year. And you can also give the start and end date according to uh, your uh, specifications or requirements. So I've created this course and I've created a batch uh, in this course. So let's see how it looks like. So this grade 6 will be appearing in the list of courses that I just showed you. Uh, since you will not be having any courses, so you are only going to see the first course that you create. Okay, so this course is created successfully. Let's see. Uh, so I'm going to manage course. You can see it is listed now here. And when I click on this, it is showing me the batch name. Now you see the batch name is not only A 2014, rather it is uh, preceded by the code of the course. So it is G6 A 2014. So it is also denoting, you know, it's more user friendly. It is also denoting that this A 2014 batch belongs to grade 6. If I want to create one more batch for this course grade 6, I can click on new from here and uh, let me create B2014 and give the proper start and end date. Since uh, A2014 does not have any subjects or any fees, so I am unticking it because there will be no import that will be happening in our case right now and I am saving it. So uh, let's see this in grade 6 now I should have two batches so I have batch A and batch B in grade 6 so this is how you create uh, courses and batches for those courses in Fatina now we can also see these uh, batches uh, we can go to configuration manage course and we have done this part here we have done creating courses and we have done creating batches that also we can do after creating the courses from manage course. Now we can go to manage batch. In manage batch I can select the course that I just created which was grade 6 and you know these are the active batches that are listed here. So you can see that uh, the, uh, these course these batches are the ones that I just created and are being listed here. And when I click on one of these it is going to show me the students in that uh, batch. But since I have not admitted any student till now in this batch, so this list is coming empty. And this is how it will be. Uh, the list will be empty if you are not uh, ad admitting any student. So when you click on the batch name, so it will be empty in case there are no students. Mm, okay, uh, so we have seen how to manage courses. We have seen how to manage batches. Uh, now uh, let's uh, see how to create subjects for the course that I just created. So I'll be going to again a configuration. I'll be going to manage subject and I select uh, see these batches are coming now G6A 2014 and G6B 2014 are the ones that I just created. Uh, for the purpose of demo I'm going to admit I'm going to add subjects to this G6A 2014. So I'm adding a normal subject. Normal subjects are the mandatory subjects that the students of this batch should study. So I'll say, let's say mathematics is a normal or the mandatory subject. This is just a code to denote that subject. And maximum weekly classes would denote uh, in a week how many slots do you want to have for mathematics. So let's say I want to have five. 
no exam. So if you do not want any exam conduction for mathematics, you can tick it. Otherwise, you can leave it. And in the same way, let me create another normal subject. Let's say science. So maths and science are the subjects that the students of G6A 2014 must study. So these are the normal subjects. In Fadina, there is another option which is known as electives for subjects. So elective means the subjects that are not mandatory, that the students can choose to study. So for uh, creating an elective, first you need to create an elective group. So you can click on this elective group, new elective group. So let me give it a name, let's say languages. Last day to choose elective will be by default one week from now. So this means that uh, the subjects that I'm going to put in languages, I'll be given an option to choose uh, within uh, till the 17th of November. So let me save it and uh, let me, uh, you know, add uh, subjects to this languages. So I've clicked on that link languages and I'm going to add subjects. So let me add Spanish as one of the languages and uh, another language let me add French so what does this mean that I've created languages as an elective group and uh, the students who are in G6A 2014 can choose to study Spanish or French or both so you will see an option here of assigning student. So as an admin also you can assign students or the students themselves can assign. It can be either way. So uh, this is, uh, let's see what is the subject structure for G6A 2014. So you can see I have two normal subjects, two mandatory subjects and I have one elective group which is known as languages. Uh, which has Spanish and French and to which I can assign students or the students can assign themselves when they log in into Fadina using their credentials. And uh, till when then they can assign? It can be till 17th of November, the date we selected while creating this elective group. So this is about you know creating uh, courses and uh, batches and assigning subjects to the batches. Uh, we can also assign subjects to G6B 2014 here in the same way that we did for G6A 2014. So uh, yeah, so this is about uh, managing course batch and subjects. Uh, in case you have any doubts, you know, regarding understanding of courses and batches, you can go to this link. And it will give you a good insight into uh, you know, understanding any, actually any module of Fatina. Uh, so thanks a lot for your time. Uh, I, this video will be uploaded under videos in this link, so you can find it there. Uh, yeah, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.